So I suppose if you look at the history of innovation, par for the course, as it were, has been yeah. that um, innovation destroys jobs, but it creates jobs. Yes. Um, it, it seems to, as, as a general rule of thumb, it seems to create better paid jobs than the ones that were destroyed. So what's it going to be like this time? Is automation, RPA, is it going to, is, is it going to be like that? Or, or are we going to suddenly have a, a, a jobs uh, problem in a few years time? Um, you know, it would be naive in the extreme and in fact dishonest to say that jobs are not going to get affected or not being affected by automation. Of course they are. Um, but you're right, Michael, you know, if you look at, look at the, the history of, of innovation, um, the, the Luddites were terrified about losing their jobs, which is why they went in and broke up the frames. Um, you know, uh, Jethro Tull, um, although I'm a big fan of the band, that wasn't how I knew about Jethro Tull. Um, Jethro Tull with the, uh, with the unionized uh, activities for around farm workers for, for threshing machines. You know, all of that activity, they were, they were frightened about losing their jobs and they did lose their jobs as a result. But those people that were in, you know, did the threshing by hand and were doing the, um, the weaving by hand, then moved into the factories that did it and they were able to produce massively more and in you know if you think about you know we're in the uk if you think about british the british empire was created by those machines it was created by the world wanting the goods that was produced by this small island off the coast of europe um, now expand that out to the rest of the world it, as organizations and as business becomes more efficient, I'm not saying more productive, but as it becomes more efficient, then jobs will undoubtedly change. There are, you know, the, there are jobs now being advertised on LinkedIn. In fact, robotic uh, wrangler or robotic, you know, um, uh, manager um, is, because, is, is now the second highest job requirement in LinkedIn after AI specialist. Now, you know, four, four or five years ago, that job wouldn't even exist. And that's just the start. If you think about RPA being just a tool, and there are numerous other tools that organizations and individuals can use, um, then there's going to be new and better jobs, as you said, for, for people to do. Um, but that, you know, raises the question as to what about the people that aren't that aren't able to change, that aren't able to. And, and we've got to make sure that we as a community, we as a technology vendor, we as a, as a society look after those people, which is why we're doing so much work with organizations like the World Economic Forum, with the OECD, with uh, the United Nations, with the, um, with the European Union, on making sure that we don't leave people behind. So that's all about education. It's all about upskilling and reskilling people so that they can approach life with new skills. And a great example of that actually is with um, a young adults with autism. So 80% of adults with young autism are unemployed. But the skills that, I mean, I know that's, you know, everything is on a spectrum and, you know, you've got, everyone's on the spectrum. Um, so you've got to be very careful about generalizing. But, you know, organizations like Autonomy Works and Kelly are working to train up young adults with autism to build robots because in, you know, certain circumstances, they have exactly the right attention to detail and skills necessary to do that. And they are very, very good at it indeed. So you're bringing more people into the workforce that weren't there before. And that's just one example. There's, there's numerous other examples where, where uh, organizations are, and one of our competitors, Automation Anywhere, are working with, uh, with um, poor communities in rural India, for instance, um, where they are wiring them up and then you know, providing impact sourcing uh, and using automation as the, as the route to actually elevate the, the entire community's um, income potential. So this impact sourcing and the way that, and it's not charity, you know, this is this is opportunity, um, and that's really important. I think.